So at the start you will find yourself in this room. So head over here and pick up the cassette tape. Most people avoid pain and suffering, but not you, detective. You relish it. You believe a life of pleasure is a life wasted in bliss. Useless to the rest of the world. Your next test is to release someone who has seen so much pain that he wants to end his life. Can you save a man who does not want to be saved? So if you head over here you can pick up this hatchet if you want it. So after that just head up the stairs. Over here you can examine this restraining chair. After that keep going up the stairs. At the top you will find an acid barrel which you will have to take the key from. So go over to the acid barrel and take it. Now you have the key you can use it to unlock this door. So when you turn this corner over here you will trigger a cutscene. You're throwing away your life chasing Jigsaw. Can't you see he's giving you a gift? The opportunity to live life without this obsession? You lack perspective. I can't stand by as you throw away this gift from Jigsaw. After the cutscene, head forward and you can jump down this hole. Make sure you land on the scaffolding. So basically your main objective for this level is to find the combination to open the lock on this door. As behind the door is the victim you need to save, which in this case is Jeff. Who you may recognize from So One in the drill chair. So if you head up these stairs, you will see a corpse in the corner. You can take the scalpel from it if you want it. Keep going up to the top and you can listen to this cassette tape. You are so concerned with evidence, detective. Data that you can see. This is why we are so alike. It is only by shedding light on our pain that we can see who we have become. Perhaps your perception will change when you step behind the curtain. To do so, use the light and trust your eyes. Oh. So before you leave the room, make sure you search all of the filing cabinets and desks. Right, so you're going to have to find two light bulbs to install. As you can see, there's already one there. So your next objective will be to find the two light bulbs. So then you can reveal the combination. So head back down the stairs. By here, a victim randomly respawns. Sometimes he respawns right now, like he did for me. And sometimes he respawns a little later. I'll point out where else he can respawn when we get to that. So if you turn left, you can pick lock this door. Inside it is a gear puzzle. Which of course you don't have to do if you don't want to. So you can search all of these, de all of these desks. There's a syringe which you can use as a one hit kill weapon if you want it. So just follow this path through here. To your right by here will be a fuse box which activates an electric puddle. Alright so if the victim didn't respawn earlier he will respawn further down this hallway. There's a case file by here. So like I said the victim respawns on your left by here. That's only if he didn't respawn earlier. Don't forget to search these desks. So when you go by here, the TV will turn on. No! Not again! You can't kidnap me again! Haven't I suffered enough? You fail to learn the reason for your suffering, Jeff. Life is worth preserving. But I don't want the pain anymore. The closer you get to losing everything, the more you will understand why life is so precious. So after that, keep going down here. To your left will be a desk, which you can search. So just follow your path through here. And you can find a case file. Watch out for the broken glass on the floor. Over here is a shovel, which you can use as a weapon. And a table to search. Be careful of the tripwire by here. Two paths converge on a 
same objective. The order is irrelevant. You can examine the chi up by here. Right, so for this bit you will have to choose between two paths. It doesn't matter which one you choose because you'll have to go down both of them eventually. At the end of each path is a light bulb, so you're going to have to come back to this spot and go down the other path. But I'm going to pick the one on the left any, uh, first. There's a scalpel on the floor by there. So if you head through the shotgun door, you can search all of the filing cabinets and everything in this room. Be careful of the broken glass in the middle of the room. You can do this gearbox if you want to. So after that, head outside and turn left and go down here. Go through the door on your right. So now you're going to have to find a coupler. I get it on my first go, but it's random every time. So go through this door as well. If you look in the mirror, you'll see the message, where does the power lie? So keep going through the doors, and then you can search this room. So once you've got the coupler, unblock this door by moving the barricade and head through it and you will find yourself back out here so go down here and you can go into this room you'll see a mannequin arm which you can use as a weapon on the over there right so you're gonna have to complete this circuit box to restore power to the button so you can open the gate So once you've done that, hit the button and you will open the gate. So now just go for the gate and a TV will turn on. So when the TV turns off, turn right and just follow this path around. The door to your left is locked so don't bother trying to open it. You can go through this door over here and to your right will be a bunch of blockers which you can search. Over here is a fuse box which activates an electric puddle but there's no point in installing the fuse because there's no enemies in this area. So you can unbolt this door and you will find yourself back outside by here. So follow this path around, to your left will be a desk, so search that, be careful of the tripwire. Keep going around and you can go up these stairs. So now you're going to have to find the combination to open the door on the right. So if you head over to this corner you will find a work table, which you can create some traps. Over here is a first aid cabinet, so search it. To the right will be a balance beam, so walk across it. On my left by here an enemy respawns. He doesn't always respawn by here, so I'll point out where else he can respawn when we get to that part. On this table is a table lamp and a case valve to read. In the middle of the room are syringes which you can use as a weapon. And another one of those cameras. But I doubt you'd want to pick that up. Don't forget to search that first aid cabinet either. So head down these stairs. The victim I just killed sometimes respawns at the bottom of these stairs as well. So if he doesn't respawn back up top, watch out for him down here. So head into this utility room. Down here against the wall you will find a shovel. Take that if you want it. So look for this people and you will see the combination is 204. So now you have the combination, you're gonna have to backtrack to the door. So climb back up these stairs. So when you're back up here you can walk back across the balance beam. So just walk over to the door and put the com combination 204 into the lock and you will open the door. <laughs> 